And now for the news in detail, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the 27th anniversary of the establishment of the National Guard. On behalf of all the affiliates, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed gratitude and loyalty to His Majesty the King, adding that the National Guard has become a pivotal force in the defense and security system in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He hailed His Majesty the King's sound visions and support to the National Guard since its inception to assume its role in defending Bahrain's sovereignty and security and protect its achievements. The National Guard commander reiterated unwavering allegiance to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty to continue leading the nation. His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, sent a cable of thanks to the National Guard commander hailing the role of the National Guard in protecting the homeland along with the Bahrain Defense Force and the public security. His Majesty congratulated General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and all the affiliates of the National Guard on this occasion. The Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a congratulatory cable from the National Guard Commander General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking the 27th anniversary of the National Guard. His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa extended sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Premier on the National Guard's anniversary, expressing appreciation and gratitude for His Royal Highness's support to the National Guard and its role in promoting its readiness and competence to fulfill its sacred national duty in service of the kingdom under the wise leader of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a, a cable of thanks to His Highness the National Guard Commander in response to his congratulatory cable. In the cable, His Royal Highness congratulated the National Guard Commander and all National Guard personnel on this auspicious occasion. His Royal Highness commended the dedicated efforts of the National Guard personnel in assuming their duties and protecting the Kingdom's achievements. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the newly appointed Prime Minister of the State of Kuwait, Sheikh Dr. Mohammed Sabah Al Salim Al Sabah, following his appointment. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad wished Sheikh Dr. Mohammed Sabah Al Salim success in furthering Kuwait's development and serving its people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted the historic Bahraini Kuwaiti relations under the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with the graduates of the Crown Prince's International Scholarship Program, the CPISB, to commemorate the program's Silver Jubilee since its launch in 1999. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed the CPISB graduates and expressed his pride in their achievements in both the public and private sectors. He underscored the pivotal role of education in the development and achievement of Bahrain's youth, noting that their exceptional achievements and leadership fulfilled the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Furthermore, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister emphasized the significance of human capital in civilizational development and progress, which led the Kingdom to focus on providing promising opportunities to equip Bahraini citizens with modern knowledge and skills and ample resources to contribute to building a prosperous present and a promising future. His Royal Highness highlighted that all human capital initiatives aim to foster an innovative generation confident in its abilities and capable of notable national achievements across all fields. He also highlighted that Bahraini Bahraini citizens, through their commitment to excellence, are the driving force behind overcoming national challenges and developing them into success stories. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Premier affirmed that human capital stands as a crucial investment, highlighting its contribution to the Kingdom's accomplishments across various sectors. His Royal Highness also expressed pride in the achievements of Team Bahrain, which represents an essential asset for the present and a guarantee for the future. He commended the continuous development of the CPISB throughout its 25-year journey and highlighted the successful and dedicated efforts of the administrations in supporting students to achieve their educational goals. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also expressed his gratitude to the private sector organizations that have offered their support to the program, highlighting their participation as a key example of the successes achieved through the collaboration between the public and private sectors. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister directed the CPISB administrations to continue developing the program to ensure its sustained progress towards achieving its goals. The CPISB graduates expressed their appreciation for His Royal Highness's unwavering support and commitment to creating promising opportunities for Bahraini professionals. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and several senior officials also attended the meeting.
The Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak Jum'a, asserted that the correction of the first term exams is underway, noting that results will be announced before the beginning of the second term. He also unveiled that the Education Ministry is about to finalize the formula of the Grade Point Average GPA Improvement System. The Minister added that details of the system will be announced before the start of the second term to enable secondary students wishing to benefit from it to register. The Minister wished all students every success in the ongoing first term final exams, which will run until next week. Bahrain Aluminum Company Alba announced that it had set a new production record exceeding 1,620,000 metric tons during the past year. This came with an increase of more than 20,500 metric tons, an increase of about 1.3% over the previous year. With more than 50 years of excellence in operations, safety, environment and social and economic development, a new achievement by Aluminum Bahrain, one of the largest aluminum smelters in the world. Alba has high standards in environmental practices, social contribution and corporate governance. In 2020, the Roadmap for Environmental, Social and Corporate Governance was launched, which identifies six priority areas, the most important of which are decarbonization, green energy and aluminum, the circular economy, in addition to transparency and communication. Alba's $37.5 million zero-waste pot lining processing plant, the upcoming 5 to 7 megawatt solar farm project and the five-block four power plant projects are concrete efforts to achieve net zero carbon targets. Alba is set to play a crucial role in the upcoming aluminum conversion complex by 2060, which will increase the contribution of non-oil sectors to Bahrain's GDP. Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, Jassim Mohammed Al Bdewi, stated that the success of the Emirati Initiative in mediating the exchange of prisoners of war between the Russian Federation and Ukraine is an indication of the valuable and significant diplomatic efforts of the United Arab Emirates towards achieving and enhancing regional and global peace and stability. He praised the leading and effective role played by the UAE in several regional and international issues through facilitating and supporting dialogue and understanding between conflicting parties. He also expresses hope for the continuation of these efforts to achieve further progress towards permanent and sustainable peace between the Russian Federation and Ukraine. Al Bdewi emphasized that the position of the GCC countries on the Russian-Ukrainian crisis is based on the principles of international law and the United Nations Charter, which aim to protect the international order based on respecting the sovereignty, territorial integrity and political independence of nations, as well as refraining from interfering in their internal affairs or using or threatening to use force. The Secretary General of the GCC Commercial Arbitration Center, Dr. Kamal bin Abdullah Al-Hamad, affirmed the significance of bolstering the role of commercial arbitration and dispute resolution to attract foreign investments to the GCC countries. This came during a meeting with the Assistant Minister of Investment in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Ibrahim al -Mbarak. The Secretary General explained the GCC Commercial Arbitration Center's role in establishing a proper and transparent legislative environment that supports arbitration procedures in the Gulf region. The meeting reviewed various topics of common interest and Dr. Al Hamad commended the efforts of Ibrahim Al Mbarak in establishing a secure investment climate, facilitating the business environment, supporting investors in their business endeavors, expanding their investments in the kingdom, and providing all necessary judicial guarantees to protect and encourage foreign investment. This contributes to enhancing the reputation of the capital flows in the GCC countries.